The first thing I wanted to ask you guys, and I hope you guys heard my rant here a little bit, because a lot of Ohio State fans are saying that Clemson fans just need to hang it up. They have no better chance than Oklahoma has a chance of winning against LSU. We basically need to go ahead and buy tickets for LSU and Ohio State and uh, go ahead and buy. And Clemson fans need to just worry about next year's Ipte uh, dues. And so. First of all, I want to say is that everybody is saying that we need Clemson needs to watch out for Justin Fields and that they're not going to be able to stop him on third down, whether it be third down and short and third down and long. Now, I agree that he's going to be a key factor, but when you hear someone say that Clemson can't stop Justin Fields, Mark, I'll hand it over to you. What's your first thought? Well, my first thought is that when you give Brent Venables, I mean, this is as cliche as it gets, right? But when you give Brent Venables, you know, three, four weeks to prepare for somebody, I get the feeling he will make Justin Fields extremely uncomfortable, if nothing else. Uh, I, I don't think stopping Justin Fields is realistic, but can you slow him down enough? Can you make him uncomfortable? Uh, and in my opinion, can you force him to beat you through the air? I mean, Justin Fields in the open field on busted plays, that's probably Ohio State's best offense. If you go back and look at the, the Penn State game, so many third down, you know, designed runs, so many busted plays where Fields got out of the pocket and picked up big yardage. That, to me, is the key. So can you stop him? I'm not sure. Can you contain him? Yeah, absolutely. I would put some money on uh, Brent Venables doing a very good job with that. And number 11, Isaiah Simmons, I think would have a lot to do with that as well. And, oh, by the way, let me go first on all the questions because Ellis is the really smart guy. So I'll get my stuff out of the way and I'll let Ellis, the really smart guy, come in with, like, the important stuff. So, Ellis, I'll give it over to you. Um, well, if anyone wants to talk about, if you're a Clemson fan and you're looking at this and you're, you're hearing you can't stop Justin Fields, well, it's going to be difficult to do that. Uh, and the best quarterback I could compare that to would be Bryce Perkins. These guys are very similar. Uh, Bryce Perkins is not as accurate as Justin Fields, especially when you look at it from a touchdown interception ratio, but both guys are very athletic. Now, honestly, when you look at Justin Fields' stats, he doesn't run the ball a whole lot. And that's by design. They don't want to get him hurt because Chris Chuganov is not going to win a game for them as a backup. It's not going to happen. So they want to make sure he's protected, especially in a game like this when you're going up against the most elite defense you've seen all season. Uh, I kind of agree. I don't think you stop Justin Fields, but I also agree that with what you said about Venables, there's just too much time for him to game plan against something like that. You look at the difference between the first time that Wisconsin played Ohio State in the second time, of course, both first halves were really good for the defense, second half falling apart. But it's because they were running the ball uh, pretty consistently uh, with both J.K. Dobbins and Master Teague. I imagine that if Clemson can get Ohio State one-dimensional, it's over. 